everyone. <clears throat> Today I'm going to walk you through how to use debug.log in Unity. Uh, debug.log is a simple uh, console log command that will allow you to debug your code more effectively when working with scripting in Unity. So at this point I have a scene set up with a simple rotator script uh, there will be a link to that in the video description. Um, really this rotator script is just here to illustrate the concept of what we're capable of doing with the debug log, but uh, it also makes this cube spin, which is pretty cool. Alright, so when we open Visual Studio to check out our code, we're going to want to make this code crash. So. Uh, to basically recreate a compiler error, I'm just going to maybe erase a, a couple letters here. Pretend that I had a simple syntax error. So now when we're in Unity, uh, our game won't even play uh, until we fix these specific compiler errors. And Unity's pretty cool about this. It offers us a uh, console error, with uh, the line that the specific um, the specific error is going to be on. So when we go back into our editor, we can see, oh yeah, this is going to be on line 15. And what do we know on line 15? Uh, we're missing a couple important letters there. Now, what if we had an error that was uh, a little bit more subtle? Let's say this was a void fixed update with a lowercase f instead of a capital F. Now when we go back into our editor, we're not given any compiler errors. In fact, the game runs, but the cube is no longer spinning. And from a scripting perspective, uh, we don't have any explanation in the console as to why the cube's not spinning, why our script isn't working, and this is where the debug.log can come in handy. So when we go back into our file, I can set a simple debug by using this syntax, debug.log, and then we'll say um, it works something like that and what this debug.log uh, built-in function will tell us is if our script is getting to this fixed update function so now when we go back into our unity editor and we press play on game time the cube isn't spinning, and then when we go back to our console, we're not given any feedback. So we know now, by looking at our code, that when we go to run our program, the, the game's never even getting to this void fixed update um, function. It's, it's never calling this function at all, and it's therefore is never calling the debug function or the rotate function. So we can change this back to F, a capital F. Um, and then we go back to the program and we run our game. There we go, our cube is spinning again. And in this little tiny text, the bottom corner, we're seeing our debug log in the console that says it works. And now you can get pretty fancy with uh, your debugs, uh, but really this is just sort of a feature that's built in so that you can debug your own code and so that you know what errors are being thrown and why they are being thrown in the first place. This comes in handy when you're making more complex code. Um, and it's also fun because you get to send yourself a little message while you're working in Unity. And that's how you use debug.log in Unity.